saw an example which is based on that harmonic equal ratio. In the question, it is given that if x upon dx minus y minus z is equal to y upon dy minus z minus x is equal to z upon dz minus x minus y and condition is given that x plus y plus z not equals to 0 then show that value of each ratio is equal to 1. This example can be solved by using theorem on equal ratio. Let us assume that each of the ratio has the value k. So let x upon dx minus y minus z is equal to y upon dy minus z minus x equals to z upon dz minus x minus y equals to k. We assume that as a constant the value of all those ratios is assumed as k. So by using theorem on equal ratio by using theorem on equal ratios we can write it as each of the ratio that's the key each of the ratio can be written as x plus y plus z we get out the addition of the numerators at the same time you have to add those denominators also thus of a numerator of the addition this is the denominator of the addition to the value of x minus y minus z plus dy minus z minus x plus dz minus x minus y equals to numerator x plus y plus z. Let us collect the similar terms. What do we do with the denominator? Variable x char sagar terms collect karna hai, like terms collect karna hai. Manu, 3x minus x minus x, x char term aapan collect kya hai. Kya sa kato din hai, y char shudha terms ya hai, kya sagar aapan aadha zavar zavar liu liya. Plus, dy minus y minus y. Kya sa prakare, jir cha sagar terms, zavar liu liya. Plus 3z minus z minus z. Numerator is x plus y plus z and in denominator 3x minus x minus x 3x minus x is 2x 2x minus x is x dy minus y to y minus y is y dz minus z is 2z and 2z minus z is z in numerator the term is x plus y plus z, where in denominator is also x plus y plus z. We can simplify them, and after simplification, you can write it as 1. Therefore, the value of k is 1. But k is nothing but the equal ratio. We assume it as equal ratio. Therefore, we can say that each of the ratio has the value k. Here we said that x upon 3x minus y minus z is equal with the second ratio, is equal with the third ratio, and all of those three equal ratios has the value k. Lastly, we got the value of k is 1. So k is the value of each of the ratio. Therefore, we can say that each ratio is equal to 1. So by this way, we can use theorem on equal ratios for the given example.